Hey, hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play five finger picking songs in 15 minutes. Really hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you do, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. And if you want the full lesson for any of these songs, the links are down in the description. Let's get into it. The first song that we're going to learn how to play is Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Such a beautiful song, one of my personal all time favorites. For this, we've got a capo on the third fret and we are in standard tuning. It goes like this. Okay, so this is just three chords. It's a C, speaking as if there were no capo, it's a C, a G slash B, an A minor seven, that's your three chords, and then it goes back to your G slash B. And it's one finger picking pattern just repeated on each of those chords. So let's start by holding down this C chord. Okay, and then in your picking hand, you want to play strings five, three, four, two. So that's five, three, four, two. And I'm playing thumb, one, thumb, two. And then you want to play five, three, four and that's thumb, one, thumb, okay? You put all of that together, you've got <clears throat> So just practice that pattern and then we just need to work it through the chords. So there we go on to our G slash B. And for this I'm holding down the second fret on the fifth string and the third fret on the second string, ideally using your second and your fourth finger, uh, but if that's too hard, then you can do it like this, but I much prefer this. But it's the same pattern in your picking hand. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. And then to your A minor seven. If you don't know what an A minor seven chord is, hold down an A minor, lift off your third finger, and you've got A minor seven. And you just do the pattern once on that. And then just go back to your G slash B and you do the pattern once on that. So it's pretty simple, but it sounds amazing. So start really slow. And when you're ready, pick up the tempo and you'll have it down. So that's the intro of the song, it's pretty much the verse of the song, but then the chorus is different, it is more challenging, but it's not crazy, crazy difficult. So if you want to learn how to play that, just follow the link through in the description. The second song that we're going to learn is Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. All you need to do for this one is move the capo to the second fret. It goes like this. So again, speaking as if there were no capo on here, start by holding down a C chord and lift off your first finger. And what I'll do here is I'll play the second, third and fifth string together. And then I'll hammer using my first finger back onto the first fret of the second string. So you've got like that. And then play open second string. So. And then I go to this chord, it's G slash B, so that's the third fret on the second string and the second fret on the fifth string. Play those two together and then play strings three, sorry, two and then three. So all together. Okay, then that goes up to the eighth fret on the second string and the seventh fret on the fifth string. Play those two together. Okay, and then the eighth fret goes down to the seventh fret, and the seventh fret goes down to the fifth fret. So that's like so. And then just play the second string, and then the third string. So all together that is. You 
do that twice and on the third time you get okay that's the only difference and C's the same and then G's that should be then up here we're holding down the 8th fret and the 7th fret again on the 2nd and 5th string play those two then on the 2nd string play the 10th fret then the 8th fret so it's a bit of a stretch and then go to the 7th fret and the 5th fret again play those two and then on the 2nd string play the 8th fret and then the 7th fret so you've got and then okay and then that just goes back to the other way. Okay, so we started. We do that again. And then this time, the third time, it changes up here. And then just once through, once more. And that's how you play the main kind of progression or the main riff of fast car and then again the chorus it changes up a bit there and as you know if you want to learn how to play that links in the description next up we've got a beautiful little song from cat stevens it's called the wind and it goes like this So for this one we're playing a D chord, then it's a G chord, and then it's an A chord. Okay, but there's a few nuances going on, and I'll break it right down for you. So hold down your D chord, and you're going to play the fourth string, the second string, the first, and then the second again. So that's... Then we're going to make it a sus4, so you want to add your pinky to the third fret of the top string. Play that with the fourth string. Okay, so. Okay, and then to the second fret, so you lift your pinky off, play the top string again, second fret, open top string, and then the second string. So that second part there is. So all together. Okay, from there, keep your third finger where it is and lift off your first finger and then put your second finger onto the third fret of the sixth string because we're on our G chord now but leave the top string open play strings one and six then three then two and six and then one so that's okay and then again keep your third finger where it is on that third fret of the second string and then hold down an A sus four so you can add the second fret on the third and the fourth string you can play it like this or you can bar it it's up to you i like to bar it but you're holding that down and play strings two and five then play the third string okay and then play the second fret on the second string and then back up to the third fret so that's so from the g Put all of that together. And that's it. Here it is, up to speed. And that's really, really, really nice, simple, really fun to play. And I hope you enjoy it. Next up, we're going to learn how to play Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. This one uses four chords, A minor, E minor, G, and D minor. And it goes like this. So for this one, we're going to start on an A minor chord and we're going to play the fifth string in the bass with our thumb 
And then we're going, to, we're going to play strings two, three, and four with our third, second, and first finger. So we're going to play bass and then fingers, and we're going to do that twice. So bass, fingers, bass, fingers. And then all you have to do really is lift off your first finger and your third finger, keep your second finger held down on the second fret of the fourth string for your E minor and just play the sixth string and then again the fingers. So and then it goes to G and all you need to do is hold down the third fret of the sixth string, play that, and then again fingers. So and then back to A minor and just play the fifth string and then fingers. So all together. And then that repeats. Okay, the only other part of the song, it goes E minor. So that is just the bass, sixth string, and then fingers on second, third, and fourth string. Repeat that four times, one, two, three, four, and then to D minor. So hold down your D minor chord. This time it's four string in the bass with your thumb, and then with your remaining fingers, strings one, two, and three, but four times. Bass, fingers, bass, fingers. So. And that just goes straight back to A minor, E minor. So all together. Three, four, again. Three, four, E minor for a bar. D minor for a bar. And then to the A minor. And for the last song, we're going to learn how to play Johnny Cash's version of Hurt, originally by Nine Inch Nails. On the original recording, a pick was used for the guitar part, but it works just as well using your fingers. So, of course, that's how I'm going to show you how to play it. So this one starts on an A minor chord, hold that down and play the 5th string, and then the 4th string, and I'll use my thumb for both of those, and then just strum the chord, lightly using your index finger, so, and let it ring out for the rest of the bar, 1, and 2, 3, 4, then we go to our C chord, hold that down, and we're going to play the 5th string, the 4th string, and then strum again. So just like before, then play the fifth string in the bass, okay, so, and then we're going to D sus2, so it's a D, but the top string is open, you can play it like this, or like this, with your second and your fourth finger up to you, I like my second and fourth finger here, but what you want to do is play the fourth string, the third string, light strum on the chord, and then play the third string. So that's just. And that's it. That just goes back to the start. So here it is slowly. It's so nice. Up to speed. That's how you play Hurt. I hope that you've enjoyed learning how to play these five songs. As I say, links to play it, all of them in their entirety down in the description. They're over on my website. Also on my site, I've got a whole bunch of finger picking courses that you can take if you want to invest in your playing a little bit more. Finger picking courses for beginner, intermediate, and advanced players. So check them out. You can even try it completely for free when you join my mailing list. So links in the description to that too. But until next time, thanks a lot. I'll see you again.